Hey YouTube, DPeter67 here. And tonight I'd like to talk a little bit about portable radios, especially for emergency preparedness, um, you know, SHTF, uh, whatever your scenario is. Um, and I'd like to preface this with saying that these are amateur radios. These are, are real deal, uh, need a license to operate them, ham radios. Uh, you need at least a technician class license to to use these um, these uh, with the exception of this one uh, are dual band radios those four back there are dual band uh, UHF and VHF um, UHF being the 70 centimeter and VHF being the 2 meter band uh, they actually transmit outside of what is legal to transmit in the United States um, so you get some extra extra bandwidth in there and let me go ahead and start off with uh, this radio. This is the Puxing PX888. This was my first purchase. Uh, this is a VHF only, two meter only. Um, and I also have a I have a two 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 meter mobile in my uh, in my truck uh, with a 45 watt. Um, this is a a five watt uh, VHF, and then. In the v UHF model, which is the triple eight K, is actually a dual model. Um, it's four watts, and that's pretty standard. Four watts on UHF, five watts on VHF. Um, again, this is a, a VHF only, um, so I'm limited um, to the the channels I can broadcast on. Uh, this is a pretty tough radio. Uh, I would say near military grade. All right, the next um, the next radio I want to talk about is the Bofang UV5R, and you'll see tons of these all over the internet. Um, it's a fantastic radio, uh, it's super cheap, like thirty bucks, and um, there's tons of accessories for these, uh, tons of extra batteries. Uh, they can make AAA packs. Um, uh, it's just an all-around great radio. Uh, it's great to put in your uh, your go bag, whatever. Take the antenna off, and it f folds down to a very, very compact size. Put it in a little pocket in your backpack, and you're good to go. Um, again, I have programmed these to to, to the. Um, I got a bunch of U, U, uh, VHF frequencies in here and UH, UHF frequencies, including uh, the twenty. 22 channels from the Motorola Talkabouts on their default security channel one. So, um, if you're familiar with the Talkabouts, you know there's some for channel one. You have depending on which model of the Talkabout you have, uh, you got a ton of privacy channels. Uh, when you first put the batteries in it, it keys up to privacy channel one, and that's what I program this to. It's a 67 megahertz, megahertz offset PL code, and that's what this is programmed to. So I can talk to um, FRS and GMRS Motorola talkabouts. It's illegal to do that, and uh, I'll tell you why. Because even in low power, now this this actually outputs a little over a watt in low power, and the Motorola talkabout is um, regulated. Well, not just them. All FRS radios are regulated to one half watt of transmit power. So you've got two to three times the amount of transmit power in this radio. Another thing is, is that if you'll notice that all your FRS, Walmart, um, Motorola Talkabouts, um, they, they have a, a, an affixed antenna. You can't take the antenna off. And that's, that's by federal regulation. Uh, this, you can change out the antennas, and therefore, another reason it's illegal to use these two broadcasts. Now, that being said, in an emergency situation, by all means. Now I've got these programmed on low just in case I was to hit the, the uh, talk button uh, when I was on those channels. I've got it programmed in low, but it is what it is. Um, you can also on these radios, One, two, and, and it'll be three, the, um, five, six, in the VHF nine, mode. One, 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 two, five to ten knots after midnight. In the VHF mode, you can actually program, and it's outside of the, the allowable band to transmit, but you can put your weather channels in here. 
Um, so you, you hear I'm listening to the Weather Channel. Uh, I, in the same way, I can put uh, fire channels and uh, EMS and police channels in here. Now, if you live in a town where... Um, if you live in a town, uh, small town, and they're still running on UHF and VHF as their primaries, uh, this will work great for you. Um, if you live in a bigger city, you know, a Chicago, New York, a Tampa, Miami, whatever, um, they're generally truncated into 800 megahertz, and you're not going to be able to pick those channels up. But they do have they do have one or two UHF and VHF channels in the background that they they do use uh, as backup channels, and you can program those into these radios. All right, um, that is the Bofang UV5R, and you'll see a ton of information on the internet about these. These are 30 to 35 bucks. They're dirt cheap. Uh, if you break them, you don't really care. And they're they're not military grade. They're not. Um, they kind of feel cheesy. They're blockish, um, but you know they serve their purpose. And for bug out bag radio, they are fantastic. This is UV5R Plus. They change their packaging up a little bit. Um, I did notice in the serial numbers that it's U.S. version, so they're they're kind of cleaning up. Um, Bofang, again, I got nothing bad to say about them. Uh, for thirty to thirty-five dollars, these are great. You may want to uh, you know supplement your antennas on these. Their antennas are not the best in the UV five um, R series. This is the uh, Bofang UV B five. And let me tell you what. Wow, I am highly impressed. This is a $45 radio. If I was to buy a whole set of radios now, I would buy a whole set of these. Uh, I am highly impressed with this. And if you stick with me on this concept, if you remember back in the 70s and 80s when uh, when Toyota came out and they were little boxy, choppy, just you know bare bones, get you from point A to point B and do it with great gas mileage. That's what the UV5R is, man. It's the old Toyota, man. Just reliable, 300,000, 400,000 miles, uh, nothing elaborate, you know, get you to where you were going. Um, you know, back when cars were still putting steel in there, you know, a lot of steel in there in their cars, you know, Toyota was half the amount of steel. I mean, it was they were super light, easy to dent, but, but you know what? They, they worked, and that's this guy right here, the UV5R. Now look at Toyota today. I mean, they got some of the best offerings out there, and um, and that's kind of the story of this thing. This is phenomenal. This radio is on par with radios three times its cost by far. Uh, this radio is fantastic. Um, the only problem with it is it doesn't share anything from the UV5R. You know, the battery is different. Uh, you see the shape here. It's kind of uh, kind of girly shaped. You know, it's kind of uh, kind of gorgeous. Um, but anyways, it, it does not share the battery. The antennas will switch. Um, it will it will switch antennas. But other than that, um, it doesn't share the same programming software. You can use the same programming um, cable, but not the same software. And the software is free. You download it for free. No big deal. Um, but UHF, VHF, much, much tougher. I mean, this, this is a... Uh, uh, hell, I'll say military grade or damn near on this thing. Uh, it's fantastic. It's stylish. The uh, antenna that it comes with, um, pretty damn good. I mean, you really don't need to replace it. Um, I'm pretty pretty impressed. Big difference between this and the uh, B6 is the B6 does not have this uh, extra button. Now this 50, 60, 50, is a channel 50, changer. 50, 7, 50, 6, 50, 5. Um, so it changes the channels. On the 6, it's got the flashlight just like the, uh, the Channel mode. UV5R. It's got the flashlight on it. That's what the 6 has versus this. Other than that, they're pretty much the same radio. Uh, and because this has doesn't have the flashlight, they did put an emergency, emergency button. Call. They put an emergency call on here. Man. You know, I might, if I was to buy other ones, I'd probably buy the B6s. Um, you know, I, I do like this. 54. But if you want to change the channels, you do it just like on the UV5R. 52, 51, 14, 51, um, 14, 15, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16
in this radio you only have 99 places to store channels again starting today I would buy all of these um, for all my bug out bags now, these all work together again this this one here the pucks will not transmit in UHF and will not transmit or receive in UHF but I can transmit VHF in all these radios so this is still good I, I do keep it in um, I can actually keep this in my cert bag um, but uh, if I was to replace radios, I would replace them all with this. This is a fantastic radio. Probably the B6 model, but in either case, B5, B6, you won't go wrong. Better clarity, a little bit louder. Again, has the FM radio. All of these have FM radio. Um, it's Lord of Royals on FLZ. Um, can't say enough good about them. So, anyways, uh, I hope this was informative. Uh, if you were new and, and you wanted to buy communications for your family, uh, I would highly, highly recommend you look into the Bofang, U, Bofang UV B5 or B6 series. Get a couple of each. Uh, I, I think I might like the B6 is better. This button seems like uh, if you were trying to be in stealth mode and yet you were fumbling around and you hit that emergency call, you could get into trouble, you know, give you away. Um, Again, you could turn the flashlight on. So six one half dozen the other. Uh, do like this? It's a vast improvement. Old Toyota, nineteen seventies, eighties. New Toyota, two thousand thirteens. Old Toyota, new Toyota. You guys uh, have a good night, and um, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave them, and I'll get back to you. Thank you.